I got a presentation in five minutes and I need to unstack all of this data for that. As you can see here, this is how our data is stacked. We have got name, email, job title, company, car make and model. And then these six rows repeat for a few thousand rows. What we want is just six columns of data here. One easy way to solve this problem is to use the new Excel functions wrap. There are two kinds of function wrap rows and wrap columns. And as these are new functions, I'm always confused which one is which. So I'm going to try with wrap columns because I have got data in a column and I'm just going to select this entire column. And then wrap count refers to what is the size of the wrap. As we have got six items in each stack, I'll put six here and we'll get the format in a weird way like this. So this is not the one. I think we need to be using wrap rows and boom, all our data is unstacked in a clean way. Oh no. Wait, what? The data is not in Excel. It comes from a text file. Oh man. As this data is coming from a text file and not in a spreadsheet, we could use Power Query to unstack the data. So let's do that. So I'll go to my data ribbon and click on the from text option, point to the text file that has my stacked data and import it into Power Query. Here in Power Query, let's take this row number one and make it the header. And now what we need is every six rows should become one record of the table and then it should repeat that pattern for how many our rows are there. Power Query doesn't really have a wrap rows or wrap columns kind of a function, but what we have is a list.split function. So first let's make this column into a list. We can go to transform and click on convert to list option. Now that we have the list, we will click on the FX button and add a new step and this step would be list.split of the previous list and then the size is 6. So this is going to split that list into individual lists each having 6 elements. So you can see here the first list has just the 6 records or 6 items. Second list would have the subsequent 6 items and so on. Now that we have a list of lists, we can convert this entire thing into a table by adding another step and this step is table from rows and refer to the previous step, custom one and boom, we now have our data unstacked within Power Query. Let's load this back to Excel. Beautiful. Uh oh, not this again. Uh. You gotta be kidding me. So it's not a single text file. It's a whole folder of text files now. Oh well, in that case, we can use this technique here to combine that entire folder of files. Check it out. Go.